We're very fortunate to uh, to earn a, a, a road victory in, in conference play. Um, they're very, very hard to come by, and uh, we, we've lost a couple at home. Um, and so we, we, we had to steal one on the road, and today I thought we did that. Um, very tightly contested contest from the start. Uh, both teams, um, you, you, you know, I think competed at a level that is worthy of CAA play. And uh, very fortunate that uh, we had some guys uh, to my right, to my left, that stepped up today, made huge, huge plays all day long, and uh, we were able to secure the victory. Um, I thought we got great contribution up and down the lineup. Ryan uh, Pearson, um, you know, kind of set the tone in a starting role and got us off to a good start. And Al Wayne Bigby's defense was, was tremendous today. Uh, Joel made a big shot when, just when we needed him to. Um, and Kari Black uh, had his best game in a while. Just, you know, was very, very active and I thought did a terrific job um, getting guys involved and, and, and defending. And then uh, Kashif Edwards had about a four or five minute stretch where we played through him on the post. And, delivered on a post move, we delivered on a post pass, and, you know, so we got contributions from everybody up and down the lineup. Uh, I thought it was overall our best team effort of the season thus far. Questions? We started at a very fast pace to the game, struggled with that against you and Wilmington, seemed to adjust well today though. Yeah, I think we're getting more comfortable, you know, playing playing at that pace. We got our turno turnovers numbers down again, um, and, and, and when we do that, we just better opportunities, did a fairly decent job on the backboard, um, but a lot of times in order to defend their three-point line, we went with smaller lineups, so we were a little susceptible to, to, to rebounding, but overall, I thought the tempo of the game was played at our, up to our liking, and, and, and uh, we got good execution on both ends of the floor. For the game, you mentioned how important it was to defend their three-point shooters, and they only went one of ten today, so it seemed like you did a very good job defending on the outside. Yeah, I mean, they're a tremendous three-point shooting team. They got a lot of weapons. Even their front court guys can make threes. Uh, so we were concerned about that coming in. Uh, but I thought, um, you know, with the help of guys like Kari Black and Quincy Ford, we were able to get out and use some length on the perimeter and really challenge some shots. Uh, I thought Alway did a terrific job of just uh, chasing, chasing Hutchins around and uh, really kind of limiting his quality looks. He's, he's got a quick release and a great shooter. So, uh, But overall, I thought uh, uh, our perimeter defense really uh, stood up to the test today. For the players, can you talk about some of the troubles their trap gave you late in the second half and how you eventually overcame it? I'm sorry. Um, you know, they were going man the whole game, and I guess the press kind of rattled us a little bit and kind of got, got us out of our game. But was told us just to calm down, you know, last four minutes of the game, you got to fight and just work together and play together, trust each other. And that's what we did. Coach, you had four fouls, got into some trouble, but then stayed in the game and just finished. You had a career high today, uh, going right after it, committing the turnover as well. Just talk about how you felt about the game. Um, I feel good. I didn't feel too good coming in, but, you know, I try not to think about it, block it out, you know, come off the bench, play as hard as I can, get out. I messed up, just try to do my job, whatever I have to do. Whatever the coach wants me to do, I'll do it. But, uh, and I thought somebody on the bench when he picked up his fourth foul we asked if we wanted to take him out of the game. I didn't, I, I didn't think that would have been a good move. He was playing so well for us. Um, and sometimes you have to play with foul trouble, and young players have to learn to do that. Uh, I thought he did a great job of it today, just staying involved in the game, not getting tentative, uh, but really, really being able to play and be confident, even despite the foul trouble. Back on the press for a second, it seemed like Joel was passing up a couple shots he may have taken yeah. otherwise, and then we, he finally hit one. Did you, were you kind of telling him? You got we to we, we talked about that. You, you, you know, there's still a 35 second clock, and you and you can't get tentative. And I think more than turnovers, it caused us to get tentative, uh, and, and, and it took a, our aggression away. Where we were passing the ball out of the scoring area, we had three or four guys out of the scoring area, so we were missing opportunities. And um, you know, we just said, hey, if you, you you're a good shooter, you step up, you make a play. You know, that's what it is. He passed up three or four of them yeah. and then finally made the big one that we needed to really get some separation. And John made, made one as well. And as soon as you start remaining aggressive, uh, you, you, you know, I think it, it, it relieves some of that pressure. Speaking about that aggressiveness, John, there was about a four or five minute sequence in the second half where you ran off 
about 10 or 12 points, really pushing your team up ahead when the game was close. Uh, was there a different approach in, in a timeout somewhere which coach told you, or is it just you upon yourself that you felt like you needed to be more aggressive taking the ball to the basket? Um, uh, we didn't, it was just a, a flow of the game thing. I, I tried to get more points in the, the flow of the game and the flow of the offense, but uh, I just seen looks, and I knew at the end of the shot clock, running down, you know, somebody had to take that shot, so it was just flogging for me. Or, I was getting leak outs on the break. He was playing great defense, so he got me, uh, allowed me to get some easy buckets. And, you know, once I get going, it's, my confidence rises, and, you know, I just ride it. So there was that span, <laughs> that five minutes, that four, whatever it was. But, yeah, that's, that's just really just for the game. Did you feel like you guys were the aggressors pretty much all night? I, I think so, pretty much. I think so. I, th I, th I think we, were, we, we executed. And so we got the ball where we wanted to get it. Uh, I thought defensively we, we, we executed our game plan. We had some slip-ups and stuff, but we did. We executed a game plan. And uh, for a young team, that's what that that's what I was most pleased about, that we remained to get aggressive. And, and at crunch time, we got the ball where we needed to, to get it, and, and guys stepped up and made plays. And, um, you know, that's the way it's going to be in this league. Both teams are going to compete and be aggressive. Uh, it's, it's the team that, you know, is fortunate enough to execute slightly better, uh, you know, you're going to gain an advantage. Any last questions? How big is this win for this team, you know, coming on the road and tough place to play against a very highly touted JMU team? You know, what did you do for your It's pretty big for me. I don't know how you have to go. No, it's pretty big for us, too. We tried to establish, you know, we lost a couple of months early. Well, cup six in a row to be exact, but it's going to be 2012, so like, the way we look at it, we're two for three, so you're a new team. Thank you. Thank you.